Today is the third day of the Liberation Fast. And I would like to dedicate this day to Hashem Bozal, an activist from the deaf community in Rosa, who has been murdered by the Zion Nazis. And as well to all the other disability activists who are being targeted. Um, I will add links below, quite a few links about the subjects we will be touching on, and including a TED talk from Hashem. Uh, the Zion Nazis has been using disability as a weapon for forever basically. Um, as far as I remember from the first Intifada, as they were shooting into eyes of children in the West Bank and uh, targeting reproduction organs of children. We all remember in the March of Return, they were targeting knees. Apparently they were using antibiotics resistant bacteria in their bullets so many of the wounds developed into such a condition that amputation was the only way out um, on top of it one has to also remember what it means for a person with disability for a family who has a person on a wheelchair what does it mean when they get a message you have to evacuate in five minutes, as was the case in 2014, for example. Uh, how do people evacuate under those conditions? Many people with disability have said to their families, go and leave me behind. Can any of us imagine such a situation? And that without considering the conditions that, you know, the lack of accessibility in such a crowded place like Raza. Um, accessibility for wheelchairs, accessibility for um, for sign language, accessibility for visually impaired people. How does it function in such <clears throat> such a crowded environment with with lack of finances? Um, that has been used as a weapon for forever since the very beginning of, of the Zion Nazi's existence and, and now they're, they're targeting and murdering activists. Speaking of accessibility and disability, I would like to to mention the incredible hashtag, the incredible initiative of Altext Palestine. And we will always use Altext Palestine and we would always use subtitles. It's been too long that we all have been taking a huge chunk of the population and just putting it outside the conversation as if they just don't matter. They don't need to know the information, they don't have to have access to the information, they don't have to have opinion about anything that is happening. And this has to stop. So I'm also calling for anyone who happened to, to be fluent in any sign language that would like to add sign language to, to the videos we already posted and we can post them again with a sign language. Any sign language is better than no sign language, of course. I reckon it will most likely be ASL or BSL. My sign language ability is not good enough in order to do that. But I would love to have a possibility to have sign language on our videos. Uh, so as said, everything will be down in the links. Um, I would like to add, of course, that not all, all people would like to define themselves as a person with disability. I myself am autistic and I think that I'm struggling with 
the concept of disability. Every person has to define themselves in their own terms. Um, speaking of definitions, I would also like to refer to yesterday's video where I referred to the Lakota people as Lakota Indians. Of course, they are the Lakota people of Mexico and also of a yeah, huge chunk of territory that is now occupied by the United States. So thank you for listening. Uh, see you tomorrow in another day of uh, liberation. And I'm also adding down a video of a group of dancers in Raza. Um, dancers on wheelchairs that are dancing dabka. And I've, I've added it as, as a celebration of resilience, resistance, um, life. I'm studying dance at the university and I've used this video as an example of methodology. Because methodology is not about us transforming ourselves to be closer to a norm. It's about us celebrating who we are, the life that is inside us. There is no one person better than another person. There is no one correct way of dancing your national dance. You are the person whose dance it belongs to. So your dance is the correct dance. You do not have to change yourself in order to pretend to be closer to some normativity that does not really exist. So let us celebrate our uniqueness. Watch the video, please.